Good morning, everybody. Monday morning has rolled around, and when I'm filming this, this is Canadian Thanksgiving. So I wanna wish all of you out there, whether you're Canadian or not, a happy Thanksgiving. Please remember to leave something you're thankful for down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. So we got a load waiting for us in Kenora, Ontario. You know, the usual, we're going down to Brainerd, Minnesota. But from there, we're switching things up a little bit. Once we deliver there tonight, with the empty trailer, we're gonna point our nose down towards Northern Indiana, Bristol, Indiana, to be more exact. We're gonna go through Chicago tomorrow, or around it as much as we can. We'll see what happens. But that's where our reload is waiting for us. That reload has taken us right back here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. We make new videos all the time. Go to my playlists on my main page. We have daily videos all the way back to 2011. Canada eastbound in Manitoba east of Winnipeg coming up to what looks like a bunch of fog it's been clear skies behind me for the most part partly cloudy and as we're getting up here it looks like we're gonna be faced with a bit of fog hopefully it doesn't get too thick you guessed it I'm in a rush I don't got time for fog to slow me down. So hopefully it won't get so thick that we will uh, be forced to slow down. Yeah, it's so strange. Yes. Clouds are really low. The weather's not too bad though. It's getting cold again. It's went down to minus three Celsius tonight. So that's below freezing for my American friends. That's uh, probably in the high 20s. That time of year is upon us. Though the daytimes are still pretty warm usually. Nighttime gets really cold. Slowly we'll get used to the cold because it's gonna get worse and worse. <laughs> If you're new to my vlogs and you've never been up to Manitoba in Canada or on the prairies of Canada, Western Canada, uh, our temperatures here get down to about minus 30 to minus 40. And if you're asking whether that's Celsius or Fahrenheit, it doesn't matter. They both meet at minus 40, so it's similar. Minus 30 to minus 40. If you've never experienced that before, uh, it'd be very hard to describe to you. Obviously, you can live through it. I mean, we're still here, right, and thriving, but you have got to be careful. You don't want to be caught unprepared in cold like that. It usually gets that cold here about the last two weeks of January and the first two weeks of February. That's the, the coldest part of the year for us. As long as this fog doesn't get any thicker on us, we got about, I'd say, at least a mile visibility. Oh, it's coming down, okay, getting a little thicker here. About a three quarter mile visibility. If it gets any worse, we're gonna have to adjust our speed. As long as I can see about a half mile in front of me, that's good. These woods here that I'm driving through have a lot of wildlife, a lot of deer. Though they wouldn't be too active at this time of day. They're usually active right at twilight, and just after the sun goes down. Uh, looks like we'll be okay though.
Yep, that's snow coming down. First snowfall of the season. And just in time, we got this load gift wrapped like a big Christmas present. And hopefully the snow doesn't get any worse. I think we got it pretty straight today. Just started snowing now, just before I started talking. So here we go. It's been snowing on and off. Right now it's raining. Don't really think it knows what it wants. might be snowing already, but you need to get out on that water, get on the boat before it freezes. I guess then you can go ice fishing. I've never been ice fishing. I don't even know how to do it. I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. You cut a hole in the ice, you throw in a line and you wait. Right? I'm sure there's more to it than that. We've gotten rid of the snow, so that's a good thing. Replaced it with some beautiful fall colors. They have a lot more colors on their trees here. They must have different kinds. Around Kenora there and around my area, it's mostly just yellow and brown. But here you got like bright reds too and bright oranges. So this is Crosby, Minnesota. Right next door to Ironton, Minnesota. Two towns in one. It's about like 20 minutes from where I'm gonna be unloading. We're doing really good for time. process of being unloaded got all my equipment put away here already I know blue is dirty I know we'll talk about it in a bit but as soon as uh, we get the rest of this off of here I'm gonna start heading down towards Indiana see how far we get today so as for old blue being so dirty the winter season is coming. As you saw, it was already snowing up in Kenora when we left. Thank God Brainerd is not at that level yet, but uh, uh, we had some snow this morning and it's gonna be hard to keep it clean. So I'm gonna take advantage of this season and uh, focus my money in other places other than constantly spending money into keeping all blue shining and perfect through the winter. 
I'm aggressively attacking some debt that we have so that we can have that paid off by spring. I want to be debt free by spring. Aside a little bit on the mortgage yet. Quite a bit on the mortgage, let's be honest. And mortgages are harder. We're going to work on that after. But until then, we're going to get everything else paid off by spring. I've got to be pretty aggressive with it to reach that goal financially. So any extra money I can save anywhere is now going to be going towards that. So I'm not going to be spending tons of money on truck washes. It's the winter time anyways. Tons of money on polish and everything until I can get that goal achieved. If you know me, I am very goal oriented. I set myself a goal and there is nothing that can stop me from reaching my goals. So we're going to love on Old Blue. We're going to wash her ourselves when we can at my shop. But we're really going to focus on putting our nose to the grindstone, working as hard as we can. Christmas is coming. That's another, uh, that's another thing that's on the agenda. Christmas is coming. So we're doing okay, but I'm, like I said, aggressively attacking some of our debt. So Old Blue might be a little dirty for the next several months until next summer, but that's okay. The dirt doesn't reduce our ability to make money. And shiny chrome polish does not make you money. Oh, it pains me to say that because people always say that to me all the time. Oh, because I love having a shiny truck. I love having, I'm going to keep it clean as much as I can. Don't worry. I have to, I have to get the salt off of it in wintertime so that it doesn't rust out on me. So I will be washing it. <coughs> it may not just be like as meticulously, like every single morning wiping it down. But that's why Old Blue's been dirty lately. But I have a good reason. I'm gonna get rid of this crazy debt. We don't have a lot, a lot of it. It's quite manageable for us. But like I said, I want it gone. I want it gone and I want it gone yesterday. So by next spring, that's the goal. I wanna get through Minneapolis tonight yet. I don't wanna deal with traffic. There's enough traffic here. It's like 10.30 at night. So I got just enough time on my clock to get through the city and I'm hoping to find a spot just inside of Wisconsin where we can park for the night. It's been a long day already. But at least now we won't have to go through here during the day or during rush hour. Just have to deal with Chicago tomorrow. It'll probably be tomorrow afternoon, so we'll probably catch the afternoon rush hour. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to go around Chicago again the best I can. Come through the south end on the 80. So i got to go through the little south section there and past Gary, Indiana. We'll lock the doors and get through there. And we've got to take the toll road all the way up to Bristol. It'll be a full day of driving tomorrow yet, but we'll make it. we got a load waiting for us there, it's taking us back home.
exit 4, I-94, just inside Wisconsin. Karen's about to yell at me because I deviated from her planned route. TA truck stop. Hoping there's going to be space Continue for us to park here. Road for 228 kilometers. I don't stop a TA that often, but they're a good truck stop. I mean, they've got great restaurants in there usually. A lot of parking. More of a Flying J guy myself, but my TA and Petros are really great. At 600 meters, make a U-turn if possible. No. Actually, you know, in Wisconsin, I really like stopping at the Quick Trips. That's not the Quick Trip like from down in Texas. This is like Wisconsin Quick Trip. K-W-I-K, K-W-I-K trip. Those stores are amazing, but you gotta be careful walking in there. Those stores are just like a, a diabetes haven. Oh, all of the goodies and pastries they have in there. Oh, so good, but be careful. They'll kill you. <laughs> maybe, maybe meters, slowly. Turn but. left on. Ryan Drive. Oh, can I park right here on the side? Oh, nice. I like this. I'm parking up here. Yeah. Nothing says I can't, and those guys are parking up here. Absolutely. Why not? Beautiful. for me. Seven minutes left on my clock. Yep. This is where we're calling home tonight. It's getting chilly at night already. It's both freezing outside right now. Zero Celsius. Uh, about 32 Fahrenheit. We're here in, uh, what is this? Close to Rogers, Wisconsin. I don't, I know Rogers is down the road. That's where, uh, uh, Pilot Flying J is. Let's see, where are we? Google! Where am I? We are in da, 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 Hudson, Wisconsin. Just barely in from, uh, Minnesota. So we're gonna stop here. I gotta stop here for my 10 hours. And I'll have a full day tomorrow to drive. You have 894 kilometers left to go, and that's going the long way around Chicago, like way around, down like Interstate 39 to the 80, and then 80 across through the south end of the city. Uh, I know it's longer that way. It's about 45 miles longer. But there's no Chicago on that road, and I like it. Less traffic. This prairie Canadian boy likes it better when there's less traffic. Chicago's crazy, man. It's crazy. If I can avoid it, I will. So, uh, 894 kilometers. Let's just round that up to 900, shall we? 900 divided by 1.61. We're looking at 559 miles. Let's round that up to 560. That's a full day of driving. Not quite a full, full day, but it'll take the day. I can do about 600 to 650 miles in a day, depending on traffic situations and stuff like that so i hope you join me tomorrow though because it's gonna be a long drive it'd be nice to hang out if you want to you're welcome to stick around hit that subscribe button down below that way you don't miss a video i, I vlog pretty much every day i'm on the road and i've been doing it for 13 years 13 years it's a long time it's longer than some of you have been alive i think some of you youngsters watching uh that's crazy to think, right? I've been doing this vlog longer than some of you have been alive, you younger. Like, if you're 12 years old, I've been doing this longer than you've been alive. That's crazy. You're like going into grade seven, right? 12, grade six, grade seven already, and I'm I'm still here making these videos. Wow, I just made myself feel old. Yeah, I've been driving trucks since 2006, so that's 18 years. You know, if you live in Canada, 
when you were born, I started trucking. And now you can already drink beer. I've been trucking that whole time, your whole life. Wow. I'm not even that old. I'm 36. So I started trucking when I was 18. That's the age you got to be. In the U.S., you got to be 21. But in Canada, you got to be 18. Just like in the States, you got to be 8, 21 to have a beer. In, in Canada, you uh, only got to be 18. Uh, 19 in some provinces, depending on where you go. But in Manitoba, the, the age is 18. Uh, I guess I should clarify that. Some provinces, it's a little bit older. But, uh, yeah, crazy. Right? 2006 is when I started. Yeah. Started off delivering pop. Or soda. As you Americans call it. Soda. Soda. Would you like a soda? That sounds so weird to me. It sounds so weird. Would you like a soda? That's what Americans call pop. We just call it pop. Because it goes pop. When you put it in your mouth, it goes pop, 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 pop. That's, I, I guess. Just like we're pretty simple people. Like, just like autumn. We call fall because leaves fall down. We call soda pop because you put it in your mouth and it pops. We don't mess around with our, our naming of things. We don't put any, like, we don't waste valuable time thinking about clever names for things. No, we just, we're pretty simple. Simple people. Drink goes fizzy pop, and so it's called pop. We could have called it fizzy, I guess, because it's kind of more fizzy than poppy. Like when you put it in your mouth, the carbonated water sort of fizzes. It doesn't really pop. I don't know. It definitely doesn't soda. I know that. <laughs> Whatever. The Americans call it soda. That means it's soda. Just like the Americans call it soccer. Therefore, it is soccer. Football is a total different game that doesn't involve your feet at all. <laughs> and Canadians, we're sort of a mixture, I guess, between European and American. We're more American than European, though. But Canadians, we're sort of just along for the ride do whatever america does america calls it soccer you got it soccer it is but we will still beat you at hockey every time except for that one time but anyways all in good fun i love i love our neighbors down here to the south uh the americans are fantastic neighbors to have i'm very thankful for you guys seeing as it is canadian thanksgiving today when I am filming this, I definitely want to end this vlog on the things I'm most thankful for. And you've guessed it. Number one thing I'm thankful for is my family, for my son, and for my wife, for my mom and my dad, all of my in-laws, my sisters, my siblings, my nephews, the whole shebang. Thankful that I've got great family behind me. And uh, nothing beats that. Secondly, I'm thankful for my job, my truck, trailer behind me, the freight I'm going to put on it. Thankful for that. Very thankful that I've had a career in trucking 18 years long now already. Yikes, I'm not old. I'm not old. Imagine when I am actually old. I'm going to be like, I've been trucking for 65 years. There'll, there'll come a day when that happens. By that time, my grandsons will be around already, I'm sure. Grandkids? I hope so. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see what Theo decides to give us. But uh, what else am I thankful for? I'm thankful for our American neighbors. You guys are pretty great. You guys are good neighbors to have. I'm thankful you're our friends. Because if I know one thing, it's this. You do not want to be an enemy of the United States of America. I am very thankful and proud to say we are best friends with the United States, right? We are your bestest friends, right? I mean, you're our best friend, that matters. America's got a lot of friends. Uh, so I don't know if we're the best one right now, but we are the closest one and we share a, a long border and I'm thankful for the peace between our nations and our people. I'm thankful for our shared history I'm thankful for my country of Canada that I come from and all of the history that makes up our country, the good and the bad, everything together makes up the great country that we live in today. So, there's a whole bunch more I'm thankful for yet, but I'll leave some floor space for you to speak up. Down below in the comments section, 
please let me know what you're thankful for. We'll do this again on American Thanksgiving, so you'll get to tell me twice. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Please, if you like my videos, hitting the thumbs up button helps me a lot with the algorithms. Leaving me a comment down below helps me even more. Subscribing helps me the most. And if you want to take it to the top level, if you really like my videos, you think I'm kind of a cool guy? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Click, that, click the Join Now button down below and it'll open up a screen where you can read about how you can become a member. It's like a cup, uh, price of a cup of coffee. You get early access to my videos or first access to my videos and special uh, uh, comment status that gets sent to me in a separate inbox so that I definitely always see your comments first. I see all the comments though. So whether you're a member or not, leave me a comment down below. Every single comment matters. Every comment matters. I appreciate it. I'm just begging at this point, aren't I? I better stop. Okay. See you tomorrow, everybody.